about Hello. We're going to take a few minutes and learn about how to register for COVID testing. Registration will only need to be done one time. Unless you are changing sites, then you would probably need to register again. However, um, at the beginning of you know the summer or the fall, you'll go ahead and just register one time. So the first part of registration is this link. Um, it's going to be register.communitylabstesting.org. Uh, if you type that into any browser, you should be able to populate with this screen. So if you are at a school, you'll go ahead and choose the site type to be school, and you will select the school that you will be testing at. So for staff or students, um, it's gonna be their, their home school. So if we are, for example, testing at, um, we can do Brackenridge, uh, your school district will populate as well um, on the side. So if we're gonna do Brackenridge High School, for example, we'll go ahead and hit select. And then it's gonna ask you who is actually um, registering. So if you're a parent, you would actually choose the student registration. If you are a student over 18, you would choose the adult registration. And if you're a staff member, you would go ahead and choose adult registration. So we're just gonna go ahead and choose student registration um, as if I am registering my child. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. Um, before I hit next, there's five pieces to registration. This is really important. Um, during these five pieces, it'll actually just ask you quick questions. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the next section. Your student ID will be required. So if we go ahead and just make one, and then we're gonna go ahead and type in a name, birthday, gender. Race is gonna be really important, so um, all of these fields are required. So we're gonna go ahead and put other, since this is um, not a real person, we'll go ahead and hit unknown for ethnicity. And so we're already done with our second section. And address, we'll just go ahead and use a random address really quick. Awesome. And one thing to note is this is the county. So uh, the county registration is part of it and it is required. Um, most of the time, if you type in your zip code, the county will already populate. If you are in San Antonio, it, more than likely it'll be Bear County. And so contacts are actually going to be for individuals who would like to have results. So for example, John Doe is my child and he does not have a phone. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to my name as the parent. And I will put my telephone number. Uh, four, three, three, four, three. And my email address because I would like to have it um, both sent to my telephone number and my email address. There is a verify button, so that will need to be um, uh, submitted just to verify that your phone number is inputted in cor uh, correctly. So it's gonna text me a six digit code. I just received it, 404. 304. This is only for the telephone number. If you type in your email address, there is not a verification that's needed. Uh, if I do have my partner or significant other um, or even like a guardian that I would also like the child to have results, I would actually just go ahead and hit new contact. If I accidentally press them, I would go ahead and remove them by this red minus button. And then if, for example, I only wanted to provide my telephone number, I would go ahead and click this delete button to get rid of my email address. So we'll go ahead and hit next. And then the last part of registration is the consent. Everything will be digital, so there's no longer a paper copy of consent form. Um, you can take some time to read through this. This is the same consent form that we had previously during spring. And then it will actually ask you to sign um, the uh, signature down here at the bottom. And then if you go ahead and hit submit,
It's taking a little bit to load. A QR code will be generated for John Doe. So it'll have his student ID as well as John Doe. This QR code will be printed out um, at schools or for some high schoolers, if they have a mo mobile device, they will not need to have a printout. It just depends on the school and what um, is required of the school campus. So this is gonna be the only thing that the individuals will need to uh, bring with them for collection. And then if there is another child I have, um, I would go ahead and click this button right here and it's gonna take me to fill out this information. And that is how you register for your student or um, COVID testing.